In this video, I look at the solution to the exercise that appeared at the end of the last video in the playlist. The exercise is as shown here. It says write a program that positions three TK into spin boxes using the place method to produce the following graphical user interface. Here we can see the graphical user interface with the three spin boxes placed appropriately and I left you with this hint here. So I'm going to take the hint forward and show you the computer program that implements the graphical user interface you can see. We have the usual program statements when dealing with TK inter within Python. I would like to refer to this program statement where we're using the geometry method and setting the size of the window to 400 by 300. In the previous two or three videos in the playlist, the size of the windows I set weren't 400 by 300 as you see here, they were 300 by 300. I had to make the window slightly larger to be able to get all of the spin boxes showing up on the graphical user interface. Let's consider this program statement and you can see I'm creating an instance of the spin box that I'm giving this name and I'm associating the spin box with this window that was created on this line. And if you have a look here, you can see I am not passing in any other options to the spin box. But rest assured, there are other options. It's just that I'm not covering them in this solution. If we come on to this line, you can see we're more or less doing the same thing as above, but we're using a different name here. And finally, with this program statement, you can see the code is almost identical, except we're giving the spin box a different name as shown here. These three program statements are responsible for positioning the spin boxes on the window. If we look to this line, we can see we're referring to this spin box, we're invoking the place method, and we're placing it at a coordinate position x is 50 and y is 20. If we come on to this, we're doing the same as above, except we're changing the position as dictated by this coordinate position here where x is 100 and y is 80 and finally if we look at this program statement you can see it is almost the same except again we've got different coordinate positions so we can see for each of the spin boxes we're invoking the place method and we're passing in different and appropriate x and y coordinates to position each of the individual spin boxes and what we should see when we run this computer program is this. And I recommend now that you type this program up and alter the X and Y coordinates and see how you can position these widgets differently. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.